Did you turn into a distance learning teacher at a moment's notice? Have you been scrambling for just the right tools to maximize your e-learning? Then stay tuned. Hi, skillful teachers, and welcome back to Skillful Teaching with Dr. Angela, where quality teaching is quality education. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm Angela McCord, Math, Technology, and School Improvement Consultant, and I've created this channel to motivate, inspire, and uplift teachers everywhere. In this episode of Technology Tuesday, I'm going to share with you three of my favorite web apps that will make your life as a distance learning teacher much easier. Some of you might be able to attest to the fact that most K-12 educators are still not really ready to teach online. However, shout out to all of you teachers who have been holding it down and keeping the learning going during this COVID-19 pandemic, training or no training. But let's keep it real. In order for students to have successful learning experiences online, their teachers need to be able to support and have support for online teaching. Because it's not about a flashy tool or a video site, it's about how you plan for and choose the right tools to align the desired learning student outcomes. I digress. App number one, WiserMe or Wiser.me. This app easily adds any media, video, audio, or images to create an engaging and interactive worksheet for students. Let's take a look. Okay, we have up now wiser.me or wiser.me. So with this website, this is going to turn any regular worksheet or um, written practice sheet that you have, you can easily convert it to something engaging. So I'm going to show you how. Um, this is a free version, what I have. You can actually um, activate the premium version. Uh, it's $3 a month, but you know me, I like that free 99. So we're going to go with that. Um, this is the community section where we can see other worksheets that have already been created. So for instance, I saw one before and I'm going to Google it. Um, it was pretty neat. I'm just going to type in gorillas fractions. So I, oh, I see it's very popular. It looks like a lot of folks have copied it. Okay. <laughs> because it's very cool. Okay. So I looked at this as well. I'm just going to click on this first one equivalent fractions and it is so engaging so it's talking about gorillas so i'm just going to pull this up to show you um just an example of how you can create a quick interactive worksheet and you can copy it here and that's like so many folks have done right and it's yours right and then you can um submit it out to your students, assign it to them, or send them a link, and then they can um, interact with it, and then you will get the results back into your account. So with this one, I just wanna show you how um, they have a video here. They've imported a quick video um, probably, yeah, from YouTube, and then they have a couple of questions for the students to answer, an article here to read as well, and then um, these are some multiple choice questions here and then here there's even a little matching so just to show you how you can do that that's neat um, that is not the correct answer folks okay i like this one and i think everyone else does too although it's out of tennessee they are actually linking to a live gorilla cam so when they click there they are able to see what's going on at the zoo with the gorillas i think that is really neat so i think that's why a lot of people like that one so i'm going to go back going back to the community to look at one more um let's see if i want to search for a popular let's see an ela popular one is maybe the outsiders let's see if anything is there I'm just going to put in the outsiders and there we have it. Oh my gosh, here's a final exam. I slept that one last time. So there's a final exam. Here's um, some different chapters. This will give you a lot of ideas. You can actually copy some of these and use them as your own and then get ideas to create your own. 
But these are very interactive. It's engaging because like I said, you can upload videos, links to websites, pictures, texts, and have the students interact and do things like, let's see this final exam, what's here. All right, on this final exam here, I'm gonna scroll up and let's see. See, you have a large block of um, text space here to complete a well-written answer. And then um, here at the same, okay? And then you also have a answer recorder. How neat is that? So everyone doesn't learn in the same way, or maybe they don't wanna type their answer. They can record their answer. So this is something a teacher has placed in as an option. Go ahead and click that and record your voice and talk to me. OMG, isn't that great? Because you want to hear from your students. You haven't been doing that, right? If they're distance learning. So this is great. And this is kind of good for blended learning as well, which is going to be kind of the same, almost used the same way anyway. So I hope you enjoy Wiser Me. Give it a try. I know your students will because you can take a regular worksheet and spruce it up. What's neat about this as well is if you assign one of these worksheets, interactive worksheets, then you will get a link. So here you can assign it to your class. You can get a link or go ahead and create a class and have it assigned that way. And then you can also have the option to save a lot of time for you and give students automatic feedback on those questions like the drag and drop, the matching and things like that, the multiple choice, and it will auto correct that. And then that way they will know right away once they're done, if the answer is correct or not, once they submit their answers. So that's really neat and saves you a lot of time, but still interactive for the students. App number two, Zoom. This one sounds a little weird to say, but it's a spectacular app. If you're wanting students to be more autonomous while they're working and self-directed in their learning, Zoom allows you to assign or create inquiry focused activities where students can analyze, create products and self-evaluate themselves with a rubric. Let's see it. All right, guys, hands down, WebQuest period are a great way to scaffold higher order thinking. Z-U-N-A-L.com. And then you will get to this site and be asked to uh, register for a free account. So you can browse and see all the different web quests that are available. So you would just go to your subject area. I'm going to try to lean away from math a little bit. Let's go over here to language arts. All right. Six through eight. I'm not leaving my six, you know, six, eight middle school. Then from there, you're going to have all the six through eight English language arts um, web quests that are shared out for you to look at. Some of them even have um, reviews. And so like here's one with um, two reviews and they're five stars. So I might want to look in here. This is about the K. So this novel. And then you can just click on here. And I'll give you a little insight about how the web quest is created. So here they all are going to have pretty much, well, they're not going to have all these missions. Okay. This lady has gone, um, Katie has gone well out. Okay. With all, with a lot of missions, but this might be what you need if your students are, you know, distance learning. So anyway, you have all of, um, everyone is going to have a welcome page introduction task. And then you have, um, work for the students to do, to look for, that would be their task. Um, and then also evaluation. And then you also get an about the authors page and a review. Okay. This time I'm going to click on math and let's go to math nine through 12. And then from there, I'm going to scroll down and look at the different, um, topics here. Now you can also search by content and you can type in a few keywords. So that's another way to search. If you're looking for something specific, so let's say I want to um, find a web quest on quadratics. So I'm going to type that in and then I'm going to see everything that has that keyword in below. So from here, I see that the first one, um, there's saving the world of quadratics. 
Uh, there's also a basic quadratic equations, having fun while solving quadratics. So like I said, you can just go through, look at some of the topics and you can favorite them, save them as your own. And then um, what you can do is use them like they are. You would just give that URL to a student and have them go in and go through this, or you could actually um, copy and paste it. I'm going to go to my profile and I thought I was a pro user, but like I said, this is free um, forever. But if you want to um, create more web quests or be able to copy them and um, yeah, this says I'm, I have a pro account but it also says see pricing and upgrade. So I guess they want me to pro some more. All right, I hope you enjoy Zuno. I know your students will because they will have some fun and be able to go all over the web being directed by YOU. App three, Similu. This is a content integration platform that will help keep you super organized. In March, they announced the pro version is going to be free to all educators for the duration of the COVID. I know that skillful teachers like to save those coins. Let's check it out. Nothing helps you more when you are a distance learning teacher than staying organized. And Symbaloo is going to help you do that. If you do not have this, you need this in your life. Okay, so you're just going to go to Symbaloo.com right here and it's going to prompt you to sign up for a free account you can also get the pro features right now it's really going to give you um, these organizational features in what they call web mixes so this is a web mix edu games and you see the tab right here this is a web mix education tab and then i also created some on my own i added some by just clicking on the little plus button right here and you can add your own name it and then add it and get started now why is this such a cool feature well the first part um, you can go in and actually search for other symbols or web mixes that are already created and you can do that copy and you know kind of edit on your own thing like we started doing a long time ago with powerpoints some of you are watching and you're probably saying, I've never used a PowerPoint in the classroom. Well, I did for a short while, I must admit. Okay, but anyway, this is really cool. And what's neat about it also is that once you create a web mix, you can then share it with your students. Um, you can organize like some elementary teachers. I see they may have a science corner, a math corner, ELA and social studies. Um, high school teachers may have an assessment corner, a skills and practice corner, so on and so forth. It's really neat in that way. And then you just quickly add a web mix. And if you want to share it with your students, here's a blank one here. You're just going to click on this little share button. It's going to prompt you to go ahead and share that. I've already shared this. It's telling me I did this before, but this is what comes up and you can share it privately or publicly. And then it's going to give you an embed link. A web link you can share it with your students in any format shoot it to them in an email you know if you're on Twitter if you have a Facebook group um, parents can also see it and then they don't need an account or anything to log in they will just see that nice web mix when they click on the link and if you have Google Classroom it's even better integrates right there with your Google Classroom so that's um, very resourceful and they also start off with a couple of web mixes you'll have these already in your account when you first start and they have some handy dandy ideas of um, different websites that you might want to go to and so that's why I love Symbaloo to add one you're just gonna click on the tile and then drop down here paste your website in I'm gonna do the gizmos site which is um, explorelearning.com then you tab down and if it can find it see there it's gonna make the thumbnail automatically for you if not or if you want to change it to something else you can click on one of these options or upload your own if you like the text that's here like I'm just gonna take out Giz um, learning explore learning and just call it gizmos and then that's the only thing that will show up and then hit show text and it'll show up on your tile and that's it you are ready hit save and boom see how quick that was you have added one to your site 
All right, so the last thing I want to show you is how you can discover other web mixes. So you don't have to start from a beautiful, clean slate. You can maybe search and find some ones that you like, copy and paste it, um, and then add your own to it because that's pretty much what I did with this one up here. I added my own to the education. See there, I added my own link there. So you're gonna go to the gallery. So from the gallery, I'm just gonna search for eighth grade math and then hit search and then it's going to give me a lot of from here i can go in and just look at some of the different ones like here's even science i don't know why that says science i put in math but as you can see there are different ones and you can look at and at minimum you can get an idea of how other teachers have created their web mixes and or you can actually copy them and create them and edit them and use them as your own so get to it. This is a great resource to stay organized and not only for you, but also to keep your students from going rogue. Those are the three guys. Let's keep these things in mind. One, more detailed instructions or video tutorials are available for all three of these apps. I didn't go into great detail about each one because I wanted you to stick around to the end of the video. Number two, I chose these videos because they enhance instruction versus just giving students practice skills. And sometimes you want to be able to know if a student knows an answer to one or two questions. You don't want to look at a full blown report. And lastly, remember equity and access. Students shouldn't feel punished for being without. I hope this video was helpful to you. So give it a thumbs up and share with other skillful teachers. Leave me a comment and let me know what tech knowledge you want to know more about. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share with another skillful teacher because we know quality teaching is quality education.